And today, we are going to be drawing Ruby Bridges, inspired by our favorite art teacher, Miss Haynes. And Miss Haynes, if you are watching this, I hope you are proud. So we're going to be telling two facts that we know about her. So I'm not even doing I'm going to do one. So one fact I know about her is that she was the first black kid to go into a white elementary school. And another, and this is the last fact. So a fact I know about Ruby Bridges is that when her, when the guards were following <laughs> her, she was brave and show, she was, and she showed courage. So let's okay. get on to it. Okay, guys. So the the things we are gonna, you're gonna need is a pencil, and you don't actually need a sketchbook. But we're gonna use a nice sketchbook. You can use a, a notebook or a piece of paper. So I'm gonna get it. Every day on her way to school. Why? Because there are angry protesters who did not want her to attend the same school as white children. However, Ruby Bridges showed courage and did not let this stop her from getting the education she deserved. She did not miss a day of school that year. Now, let's get started with our drawing. I want to make sure that I leave space at the top of my paper, so I start two fingers below. Next, I start to draw my U-like shape. I love starting portraits off with a U-shape, so it gives me more freedom for expression for the top of their head. Next, I draw my ears doing two loops on both sides. Now I do a curved line at the top for the top of my head. Next, I'm doing Ruby Bridges hair. She had really naturally curly hair, so I'm going in and doing curved lines at the top. Now I'm going back in and I am drawing a circle and then two triangles for the shape of her bow. Now I'm going in doing curved lines on both sides for my eyebrows and then I decide to go back and box it out. Now I'm moving on to my eyes. I start with two U shapes. And then I go back and add lashes by doing some lines. We're doing it like her eyes are closed and she's reflecting. Looking nice, right? Now I'm giving her a button shaped nose by doing another curved line. Then I'm going in and curving it out with a smile. I'm adding some cheeks to her with some smaller you like shapes. Now I'm working on her neck and I'm just curving it out on both sides. And then I curve at the bottom. Next, I'm curving around for her shoulders. This portion is her shoulders and her arm. Now I'm drawing oval shapes for her braid and I'm making sure that my oval shapes get smaller as I go. Then I'm coming back in and I'm doing her collar. And then I decide to give her two circles for buttons with her collar. I'm going down with another curved line on both sides to create her arms. And now we're giving Ruby a book. So I start off with a rectangle. I go back and add a vertical line, and then I'm spelling out Ruby on her book. And then I'm going to put a B for her last name, Bridges. Now I'm decorating the book with spots. Feel free to decorate your book any way you want to. Lines, zigzags, rock it out. It is your world. And then I'm going to give her dress. Hey, guys. So we are all done with our drawings, and this is how it looks. I'm gonna, we're gonna retrace them with a, 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 a black marker, and then we're gonna color it for you guys at the end.
Okay, guys. So this is the end of our drawings. If you guys can see. So Ari, that's Ari's. How she. That's and then Maddie come. can show I you guys. I love mine. And she looks yeah, so adorable. Yeah, it looks so cute. And Miss Hazel, if you are watching, please comment down below if you like it and rate out a one out of ten. Everybody who, everybody who's watching, please um comment, rate our drawings out of one out of ten. And we hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to like. Comment, share, turn on the post notifications, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We hope you guys enjoy. Bye! Bye.